Hi, I'm Bob Wormsley from Insidium and this is Top Tip Tuesday. On today's video, we're going to be linking X Particles and Nexus with mesh tools. I'll show you how we can create some nice custom procedural animated emission points for particles from scene objects. So let's get started. In our seed, we have this follow geo setup, which is similar to something we've done in a previous top tip. If we make our wolf head invisible, you can see that we've got this nice particle simulation turbulently moving across the surface of our wolf head. That's because of our NX follow geo. If we put this in edge mode, we can then get this going across the edges of our geo, which gives us a nice kind of wireframe effect. Um, so that's very cool. But what we can do is we can use a mesh tool to give us a more interesting emission uh, pattern. So the way we're going to do this is let's just switch off that um, uh, particle setup and we'll just have a look at our um, wolf head and let's just switch it off x-ray mode. We're going to go to Insidium mesh tools and bring in a mesh tools select. And this enables us to make some live polygon edge and point selections which we can animate it's really cool so if we put our insidian wolf head as a child of the mesh tools select go to the mesh tool select by default it's creating a polygon selection and if we come up to the select you can see here is the selection and if we want to have a look at that visualize it we can go to the display tab and just highlight polygon selection and by default look it's just selected all of the polygons but if we go to our mesh tool select object we can use shaders to only select some of these so look let's use a noise shader increase the tolerance so now we've just got a few of these polygons selected and if we go into the noise settings animation speed let's put it on say 0.4 hit play and now we get a live animating selection so why do we want to do this well we could emit from the selection parts so let's go to our emitter to the object tab instead of emitting from the wolf we want to emit from the select object because that's kind of taken over it and then we can put our polygon selection in here so let's make that invisible switch all our stuff back on ah, now in a follow geo we also need to take out our wolf and we need to put our select object in instead so let's do that hit play and now you can see that we are, hang on, let's go and put this on polygons. And now you can see that those particles are emitted from those selections. Now, if we go to the emission tab, we can, um, let's emit all frames, but not give them a full lifespan. And now you're going to see that, yeah, so we're continually emitting from those animated selection points, which is really cool. So it looks nice in polygon mode, but where this really looks nice is if we do it in edge mode, we'll see it much more clearly. So let's make a couple of adjustments. First of all, we'll go to the follow geo and we're going to put this in edge mode again. Let's put edge on 100% and we can maybe put two centimeters offset but then in our select we, we want to make an edge selection not a polygon selection so let's switch off that poly selection and we'll activate the edge selection let's just make it visible so we can see we'll go to the display let's activate our edge selection so now look our polygon um, our uh, noise pattern is actively selecting these edges so let's emit from that instead we'll go back to our emitter the object tab let's change the um, emit from to edges drag in our edge selection this one and make that invisible so now we're getting that continuous emission yes from that custom edge selection point so that's looking really nice as well now let's go one step further on this and we can go uh, and um, add a bit more artistic control by going to the fields tab gonna add a spherical field here it is and now it's only going to make those edge selections let's just switch all this off it's only going to make those edge selections where um, they are within the field 
So we get a bit of artistic control now. Let's switch that on. Let's make our object invisible. So now we're not going to get any particles, but then when we move our field over, it will reveal those moving edge selections and it will birth those particles and then get them moving around our object. Very cool. So mesh tools obviously is good for using in all kinds of um, uh, modeling scenarios, but it can also be used for uh, particle simulations. And in this instance, to get these really nice live animated selections, which we're using as emission points.